the collaborative program of TIFAC and SIDBI, launched on November 1st, 2010, aimed at facilitating development, demonstration and commercialization of technology innovation projects. We formulated this scheme together in 2010, uh, Srijan. Srijan is basically creation. The idea was that uh, TIFAC would support the technology part in terms of assessment and SEDB would uh, bring its uh, prowess to uh, do the assessment on financial uh, part. Srijan is a program which is wherein TIFAC is working in collaboration with SEDB and TIFAC is funding up to rupees 2 crore rupees as a soft loan to innovative startups. This is an attempt towards making India and towards strengthening our Honorable Prime Minister's vision of Atmirbar Bharat. The Kirkia Ghat at Varanasi recently got its first and world's first floating CNG filling station for eco-friendly boats. It was built by AIPL company that was supported under Srijan scheme. Aapne apni khud ki company Aquafront Infrastructure ke jariye Banaras ke Khidikiya Ghat par Dunia ka jo pehla floating CNG filling station viksit kiya hai Wo behtereen hai Mukunda Foods is a food automation company which has an end-to-end -end integration with in-house R&D, manufacturing facility and global service network. They are the pioneers and end-to-end -end solution provider in kitchen robotic space. We wanted to focus on Dosa because Dosa is uh, one among the top five most sold items in the country and the most difficult to uh, item to make. It's an art. In 2012, we made a small prototype and the machine came out very nice. Jajal Medical. They provide 3D printed prototypes to surgeons based on MRIs to help them in their procedures. We provided a 3D printed cutting guides that were made just for that patient. Implants are standard, right? And then the patients are kind of uh, restructured to fit the implant right and we believe that it should be the other way the implants needs to be designed for that patient so this program is basically to facilitate the scaling up of technology innovations which are developed indigenously and we are facilitating industries particularly msmes and startups to take up this technology to the commercial scale Omni BRX mission is to be the world's leading manufacturer of single-use bioreactors for the biopharmaceutical industry. The technologies which are there for the vaccine manufacturing, mostly it is scale limited. We try to solve this problem with this innovations like the invention what we have. So now people can uh, manufacture the vaccines at a much larger scale, I think 10 times higher scale. Promethean Energy builds unique waste heat recovery solutions for industrial and commercial applications. So we started this company seven years ago uh, with a focus on helping factories reduce their fuel consumption. Using a mix of technologies like heat recovery systems and heat pumps, we have helped over uh, 50 companies, large companies and over 150 factories significantly move on the path towards decarbonization and fuel savings. Solar panels generate green power. Soiling is the biggest challenge which can reduce efficiency by up to 40%. Water wastage for cleaning is not right. Therefore, waterless cleaning solution. With the first Indian company with the indigenous technology, uh, with the third indigenous design uh, in the world, we've got patents for our design in India and we applied for patterns in different parts of the world. Grafil from Technobital connects innovations, experience, commitment to offer low-cost, simple solutions to global customers. The focus of the company is can we provide a very effortless and affordable water purification solution. We have come up with a industrial ultrafiltration membrane which is branded as Grafil. 
So Tata Swatch is a product which is using our membranes for their water purification system. Aeron offers an entire range of inertial measurement units for land, sea and airborne. Our objective of starting out was to make India self-reliant in these technologies. We were funded through the Srijan program in 2013-14. This really helped us in establishing our infrastructure that helps us in calibration and testing of our equipment. Oil Power Hydraulics Private Limited's developed product is claimed to be the first valve in this range in Indian market. There are the product named by directional control valve which is very limited and only few manufacturers are in the world who are dominating the market and the demand in India is increasing day by day like automation and the new technology has introduced in the market. Gumpro Drilling Fluids has been manufacturing drilling fluid chemicals since 1983. In early 2000, we had developed some products which were in the liquid state like this. But in their extreme winters, it used to freeze. This liquid we converted into a free-flowing powder form. And we named this polvo, which is Spanish for powder. Uh, this was uh, innovative out-of-the-box thinking which we've done for the first time in the industry in the world. Zappa Geo Navigation Technologies is only company in India with the drone autopilots. Under the Typhax should be region scheme, we got this at the right time in 2015, thanks to which we have been able to commercialize this product. Jyoti Zero Rubber is primarily involved finding the solutions and innovate against the wear and abrasion problems in processing plants. Conveyor idlers get fail very faster. So in Tata still in 2003 and 2004, uh, the idlers, uh, conveyor idlers was getting, frequent failure was taking place and because of that lot many of production losses was there. So, we have to take the idler and take the coating process to our level, to our small level. We have to take the life of the three months to the three months. So, it was more than seven, eight times more in life enhancement was there without changing any prior art. Brazil is a leading company addressing the problem of rice husk ash utilization. Every year, more than 100 million tons of rice, is, rice husk is being used across the globe. But when we use this rice husk as a source of energy, the process generates rice husk ash. Now rice husk ash is a total waste, it does not have any commercial application. We have developed a technology, a chemical process to utilize this rice husk ash and produce advanced chemicals from it. And the chemicals which we are producing from rice husk ash are precipitated silica and activated carbon. Aqua Agri has developed new technologies to cultivate and harvest natural sea plants, the seaweeds. We are a company involved in the promotion of seaweed cultivation. We work closely with the coastal communities, encourage them to take up seaweed cultivation, provide them know-how and buyback. And we had taken this technology for converting the seaweed into biostimulants for agricultural application and hydrochloroids for the food application. TIFAC SIDPI has provided concessional loans up to rupees 200 lakh per project at an interest rate of 5% per annum to the MSMEs or startups for innovative technology projects which have either reached pre-commercialization stage or have tested the market and are ready for scale-up through TIFAC SIDBI 3 Jun program. We are quite happy that this relationship has led to more than 35 projects being supported till now. And there has been negligible NPA and a basket of new innovative technologies have got validated. TIFAC would be happy to take on more such projects which use towards innovation support development of technologies, piloting of technologies and commercialization of these technologies as an innovative product to envision Make in India. 
This program has successfully gone a long way in recognizing and encouraging innovative MSMEs to actualize their out-of-the-box thinking. What started as a small sapling today has grown into a big tree. Now we have more than 3,500 machines in 27 countries. This region program really helped us invest into those uh, equipments which helped us really you know where we are today. We have a couple of installations in US and European region and we are also planning to export more and more in coming days. This region program really helped us, uh, gave us that cushion of money to try, innovate and develop products and we could afford the freedom of failure. We are one of the lightest and the fastest machine in the world. What it means is that you need to deploy less number of machines the cleaning is fast, so the return on your investment is much faster than any of the equivalent machines that are available globally. At present, through our different products, we are now serving around 5 million people in India. That is 50 lakhs people in India are drinking water which is coming out of our system. We are India's only private company with the indigenous inertial navigation system which is flying on fighter aircraft. It is like a Sanjeevni for us while we are in very initial stage. TIFAC has a great technical backing. They helped us through the patenting process, which was the first for us. And now we have our patents in India, Russia, as well as USA for this technology. We have distributors in more than 12 countries as of today. And we are adding more plants in India as well as outside India to reduce the carbon emission and reduce the uh, rice husk ash problem. For anybody starting out on new journeys or new technologies, they can be a great institution. Whether you get selected or not, there is a lot of insight because that means you need to do a lot more work.